Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have this week's Astamcast substitute for you guys. And well, there's a few things to go over today. One, namely, the Japanese Grand Prix, because no, I didn't live stream it as you guys know, but I did watch the race on a replay, because I did miss it. I slept straight through it, actually. So what happened? Well, frankly, it was pretty much back to business as usual. Max Verstappen won the race in fairly commanding style, thus winning Red Bull, the Constructors' Championship, once again. But not the drivers. That will actually happen in Qatar, should Max win again, although I'm not sure of the points permutations needed for that to take place. I'll probably discuss that next week. Well, later on this week, I should say. Now, that was, of course, a very interesting scenario surrounding his teammate Sergio Perez. Well, um, he had quite a few crashes throughout the race, um, eventually leading to him retiring from the race. However, post-retirement from the race, he was given a five-second penalty, so then Red Bull requested the FIA to put him back into the race just to serve the penalty, then retire him again. And it was granted. So Sergio Perez literally went out for two laps, served his penalty, and retired again. It was very, very, very strange. I don't know if that was in the rule book ever. I don't even know if that's been a thing that's happened before. I've got no clue. If anything has if anything like that has happened before, please let me know because um eh? I was very confused. But of course, Chaco Perez wasn't the only retirement from this race. Uh, we had Valtteri Bottas, both Williamses, and one other car that I don't remember right now. That's not good. But yeah, there was five retirements from this race. No rain this year, thank goodness. So there was no major accidents like Carlos Sainz last year and almost Pierre Gasly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for the race. It was pretty dull, to be honest. I didn't find it that, that interesting, really. Now, moving on to the entertainment bit of this. And well... There's some very good news, because as I spoke about in my um, Asked Car News a couple of days ago, well, actually yesterday, the WGA strike is very close to ending. In fact, it's possible that by the time this video is out, it could be over. Because I was reading last night that, there, that the strikes could be uh, um, over as early as now. So, potentially, as you're seeing this video, the Writers Guild of America strike could be over. Maybe give that a Google, because I don't know yet, at the point of recording, but it could be over. Now, of course, that does still leave the Screen Actors Guild strike. That is still ongoing. However, I've got a feeling that now the, the Writers Guild strike is over, the AMPT people will probably shift focus over to the Screen Actors Guild to try and get that strike over and done with. So, hopefully this could all be over soon, but I'll keep you guys updated. And as for other entertainment news from this last week, uh, nothing much really, because of course the strike is still very much ongoing, so there isn't too much occurring. Um, of course, Forza Horizon, no, sorry, Forza Motorsport is only 15 days away now, so that is incredibly exciting. I'm really, really, really looking forward to playing this game now. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this incredibly, incredibly quick Astoundcast Substitute episode. I think this is number 14? I think. I might be wrong. Might be 15. Can't remember. Anyway. That's going to do it for this video, so please, like the vid, sub to my and Roxanne's channel, her link's down in the description, mouse button is down there, please click them, and then the bell icon to get both sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why the hell not, and let me know what you think of all I've talked about this week, what you thought of the F1 race, do you think the Screen Actors Guild strike will be over soon, and is the Writers Guild strike over, please let me know, because again, this is past Cameron, so I don't know yet. Um... And of course, um, let me know if you're really, really, really looking forward to playing Forza Motorsport, as I am. And once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That's going to be Roxanne's website. And lastly, please do share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!